Ghost forest might sound like something out of a scary movie, but it's a scary sight that it's happening a little too close to home. Yeah, CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunsing takes us to the ghost forest and gets answers on what's killing them and if we can stop it before it's too late. Imagine a forest the size of Raleigh and Durham. Now imagine a forest of that size dying every single year. It's an unfortunate reality happening right now across the North American coastal plain, including right here in our backyard in North Carolina. It's a popular vacation spot or weekend getaway, soaking up the sun, relaxing to the sound of waves. But just a few miles inland, our coastal wetlands are facing a crisis. Vulnerable ecosystems changing, trees dying, leaving nothing but ghosts. A ghost forest, I think, is a very fitting name because the ghost part. When we think about a ghost, it's a relic of what used to be. Dr. Elliot White Jr. led a team of researchers across the North American coastal plain to study and document the loss of our coastal forested wetlands. What they found is sobering. The research shows that the North American coastal plain is losing 684 square kilometers or 264 square miles of coastal forested wetlands every year. That's the size of Raleigh and Durham combined. Duke professor Dr. Emily Bernhardt was part of this research group. She says, what started out as a restoration study became something more. They're quite striking, uh, and to us, they became an indicator of a much larger problem. How prominent are these? What's causing them? Um, and you know, where is it happening, and how fast? In previous centuries, these forests were drained and cut down for agriculture, but that now only accounts for three percent of the total loss. So they looked at the bigger picture. It's happening all over the place, anywhere that water tables are rising or marine salts are getting upslope and salinizing those soils. The trees are dying and can't thrive in water that is becoming more and more salty. So as sea levels rise and stronger hurricanes produce more storm surge, it's harder for these trees to survive. We can't reverse climate change overnight. We can, we can sign a law and stop deforestation overnight, but you can't reverse climate change overnight. So these systems in some ways they're on a ticking clock in terms of what we can do to save them. If we do nothing, what's left of these coastal forests will be gone within the century. Native cultures have a spiritual connection with these areas. They provide habitats for numerous species of wildlife, and they're even nature's natural water filters. If you eat seafood or you like to swim in clear waters on the coast, these wetlands play a really important role in protecting water quality. We can't save the forests overnight, and they may never fully return to their former glory. But Dr. White and his team of researchers are working to create opportunities and awareness so these forests can be around for generations to come. Even though I said these systems are hard to restore, plant some trees, some of them will come back. And so buying land and, and trying to kind of create more of this system a little further inland so that they can grow healthy and survive. Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.